All right, we're going to quickly walk through the Song Service Assistant setup and how to utilize the program. Uh, what I have here, let me delete this. What I have here is a zip file, and uh, you're going to go ahead and unzip that, and you'll get this guy here. I'm going to double click on setup.exe. Uh, it'll ask, ask if you want to install. Yes, installs it, and it fires it right up. Now, if this is your first time running it, what you're going to see is uh, that it is creating a new directory, and it's creating it in your documents. So this right here was just created uh, when I fired this up for the first time. I'm going to hit OK, and there we go. So here is kind of a basic, um, this is what you're greeted with every time you open the program. I'm going to close that uh, because what I want to do is it created this directory of fast, medium, and slow, but there's nothing in here. It's just blank folders. So because I already have these, I'm just going to, I'm going to copy these. I'm going to delete the ones that it just made just for the sake of uh, the video. Uh, you will need a, for every song, you're going to need two documents. You're going to need a docx file, which is a Word document that is macro enabled. And you're going to need a .txt file. So let's take a look at the docx file first. Uh, it's important to note. Whatever you have in here, including spacing afterwards, the font, the format, everything, um, with the exception of the ruler, kind of the width of the page, but as far as the font, text size, and all that goes, it is going to copy exactly what it sees. So get them all formatted the same. Make them look the same. For me, um, let's go ahead and hit that. I've got Times New Roman, size 10. And then I've got some bolding and under, you know, bold and underline for the title, bolding for the chorus. And then I do this little thing to show the drum count. And that's about it. Okay, let's close out of that. Now, the text file. Let me open that up. It's the same thing with the exception of it doesn't have any of the chords. It's just words. And then um, I, I like to put this at the top. Just to, uh, This is kind of a quick reference document. And you'll see how that comes into play in just a moment. So um, just with copying those over, right, I've got these are the songs that I have in this directory, set free to worship, you see that here, et cetera, et cetera. It immediately, uh, upon closing and opening the program again, it shows them all here. You're going to see a bunch of stuff that is like, uh, uh, it's not enabled just yet. I'm, I'm still working on some of this, but the functionality of the program is there. Um, what you have is the ability to select one or two fast songs, one or two medium songs, one or two slow songs. And in order, it's going to go from top left, down, and then to the center, top, down, to the right, down. Okay. Um, these two buttons are your main, don't, don't even worry about any of this stuff here. These two buttons are primarily what you're going to be using. So if I click on burn in me, this now is a button that you can click. And so I'll click on that. And here you can see why the text file uh, is needed. Any song that you click on, it's going to uh, it's going to give you the, the words to that song or whatever you put in that text file. If you want the chords in there, that's fine. Uh, but this is just a quick reference more than anything. So any, th any song you click. If you accidentally click a song that you don't want, you can, you can clear that out. Uh, in order to create a list, you have to have a fast, medium, and slow, at least one. So if I only have one song, uh, I can't click create list. But as soon as I get one of each, you know, one slow song, then create list becomes enabled. You can override that. This is the button. If you just wanted a fast and a slow, you can hit this override create list requirements. And you can create the list um, as is. It looks a little different, and it, it doesn't format perfect or any of that, but uh, functionally it works. So you can use that if you need to. So let's go ahead and let's let's make an issue here. Let's duplicate songs. So we're going to do No Power on Earth, Burn in Me, Your Love, O Lord, twice, How Great is Our God, How Lovely on the Mount. Create list. Duplicated medium songs. It will not allow you to... Uh, to do that, you have to have unique songs. So you can't have the same song twice. That's a good thing. So let's just clear that out, or I could just select, uh, let's do soon and very soon. And I'm going to hit then create list. 
So really, fire up the program, click, 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 and create list. We're going to see. Uh, what's the name of this? Well, maybe you have uh, a cadence of the song names uh, in our church. We call them groupings. So this might be group 19. Oops. Uh, let's, let's do this. Um, so we're going to go like that because it will auto format that for me and I kind of want to show that. So let's hit OK. You're going to see a bunch of stuff come up in the background and then it goes away. So what just happened? Well, what just happened was it created this test.doc. Uh, <laughs> right now, right now, it's just naming them test.doc. So you'll have to manually change that. I actually forgot to, to make that change, but it works. <laughs> um, so he, here's one of the one of the, the shticks with these lists. It will not allow um, the slow songs to be on different pages. It will not allow the medium songs to be on different pages or the fast songs. If you do two slower songs, two, I'm sorry, two shorter fast songs, then oftentimes you'll get both fast and medium on the same page. Um, you can change that. You can, you can move them around as you want. If you want, you can literally just grab the song and drag and drop as you want. Um, there's, there's flexibility in that, but functionally it works to where you won't end up with too long, uh, or things splitting across pages. Um, let's do another one, but let's shorten up. We're just going to leave the name. This is because if you have two songs, typically you're going to want to go from one right into the other. Um, and so in an effort to maintain that, we figure let's let's keep the medium songs together. Let's keep the fast songs together, et cetera. So here's No Power on Earth. And then there's a long you know, line to show this is the delineation between fast and medium. Here's your level, Lord. Now notice that the formatting is all screwed up. Well, if I go back to my medium songs and I go to your level, Lord. Yeah, the, there's a good reason why the formatting screwed up on there. Because the formatting screwed up in the original document. Once again, whatever you have here, let me save that, is what is going to show up here. Uh, if I wanted to edit it right from here, I could double click and I can make some changes, but it doesn't edit the source file, the original source file. So uh, the best thing to do is to go to the original and make your changes there. And then in, in the future, when you rerun it, uh, it'll look better. So let's do that. Let's just hit create list again. Okay. And then in my song service assistant directory, here's test.doc. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't have done it that way because it, it actually, um, it moved everything out of frame. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you what I did just to avoid this issue. I moved these out of the bounds, which was n not the right way to do this. So let's go ahead and, and let's make this wider and then take these back to where they need to be. There. Now, as long as we're within the bounds of that, uh, you're good. <laughs> That's just a rookie mistake. And create list. Okay, and we will see it. Boop, boop, boom. Let's close out. Now let's open it up. Okay, there we go. It looks good. So that's it. That's it. That is the um, from beginning to end. How to use the program in its kind of infancy. Uh, there's lots more comments.